This is the hall. Later. Love you too. Stars. Hello, Angela, Face You, and Lexi Poo. How are you, ladies? Good evening, good evening, good evening. How are you all doing? Oh, that's better. Oh, that's so much better. Hey, Lisa, Tacky Chic. How you doing? Tacky Chic, are you new? Angela Henry, are you new? Wanda, are you new? Relaxing after eating some good old co oh, collard greens and cornbread. Child, that's the thing. Hey, Mrs. Lady K. She said, I'm in a four-way lodge. Girl, you clearly is. Because I sent your, your butt a whole message. And I ain't got no reply. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wanda said, yes. And yes, they've been watching your channel for a while. You must not talk a whole lot. Okay? I don't know what y'all be scared of. I don't bite promise you i do not bite right Vaughn? right we don't bite no we do not bite so i think i'm on the four or fifth set oh you buying sets go on miss lady k go i was watching a live the other day i think it was on monday and everybody that went to thriftcon atlanta everybody was on there and they was talking about how live it was and um how some people prefer lives some people prefer prefer shopping on websites um some people love the hunt of a live. Hey, Tashelle. I haven't watched you in a long time. Girl, yes, my hair has grown, honey. I wish all of this was mine, honey. I had a lady tell me the other day. She said, you cut your hair? Give me hell. <laughs> I said, um, okay. Okay. She said, oh, no, they changed. Oh, is that the one with Barcodia? I think that's her name. Thank you, Angela. That's, I think that's the one that's Barcodia. Um, that's the one they've been trying to get me to do a group live sale. I just, I just think it take a long time. That's all. That's that. I'm trying to, yep. Yeah, you got to be in that one. This, this one right here, um, Miss Lady K. Okay, I think it's this one she in. Because they're doing a lot of jewelry. But they was talking all about the live. I mean, the, um, what they was talking about? How ThriftCon was. Yeah. Oh, I... I got to get them out my ear because um, I ain't trying to hear all that. All right, so how's Oh, Lord, child. I ain't trying to have a conversation all in my conversation. Okay. 
Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Look, when it comes to doing dedicated videos, it is like really, 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 really difficult for me, okay? <laughs> and it is just because in the process of doing daily life tasks and then, y'all need to turn that neon light to the bottom and leave the hot. Um, in the process of doing just regular life things. And then I just done had a, a, a hellish week this week. Not in a bad way. Just busy, busy, busy. I had a friend in town. It's just been a lot. So I was like, no, Steph, you're going to film this, this thrift um, haul that you bought for yourself. You're going you're gonna to do this. Child ain't happening. It is. Hi, Bianca. How are you doing? I pray that everybody is blessed and highly favored. There's Bond. Bond, say hello. Say hello. He said, hey, how are you ladies doing? You play a player from the Himalayas. <laughs> So let me see, it's 8.55, I'm gonna give myself an hour, okay? An hour on here to show and tell, okay? Um, I know that's why I blessed and highly, highly favored, okay? Um, what I was gonna say. <sighs> I went out Saturday, I did a thrift haul with y'all on Tuesday. Yesterday, I didn't go anywhere. Yeah, yesterday I didn't go anywhere. But today I did. And today I literally was actually out shopping for myself. Because if you didn't know, next week on um, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a live closet sale. Now, when I say a live closet sale, um, if I walked y'all in my closet right now at this moment, um, she organized, but she stuffed. She is stuffed to capacity. And um, yes, please hit the like button. Don't forget, okay? Um, to stuff the capacity and like I said, I done made, um, I done made a, what you call it? I've made up my mind that, um, it's time to let things go that, um, I thought that I would probably want to keep for like my daughter and stuff. Child, she's, are you okay with that? Yeah, I am. I am because this is the thing. Um, and let's just say, let's just say the past three years, my body has changed a lot. Okay. She said, I feel I should get what I have had my eyes on for the long. What have you had your eyes on for the longest? They see you. You got to, got to tell me because if you did, girl, I'll go get it right now. Tell me what you had your eyes on for the longest. Okay. Because, um, I've been watching Closet Declutters on, on YouTube because it's, 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 my girl, she was, she was like, Steph, your closet really is a fucking store. She was like, this, this is crazy. And I said, no, it's not crazy. I said, it's just who I am. It's what I am. Um, but there are some things in my closet that need to go. And I'm going to tell y'all one of the things, she took my everything. Check your archives. Um, because if you send me pictures of things on um, face you, you feel me? And if it's things that like I I um am ready or willing to part with, girl, you just you might it might just be your lucky day. It might just be your lucky day, like for real. Um, this is too much. Yeah, this is too much right here. Okay, so. I think it's time. I think it's time. But when I show y'all 
One one of the things that I am definitely purging in my closet, I'm gonna tell y'all, it's it's gonna be some shoes. Um, high heels, my lifestyle has changed in the past five years, and I'm not a high heel girl anymore. Okay. Um, I like high heels, but I want a heel that has some some girth, some thickness to it, okay? Um, I don't want to be a girl wearing stilettos anymore. That's, that don't work for me. Okay. It just don't. She said, I'm going to send them to Instagram, but not today. Cause you know what I'm doing. I know what you're doing. Studying. She over there getting that education, huh? She's doing that. She getting her homework done. Okay. But my lifestyle has changed and, um, with that, it's like time for me to really take a serious look at what makes me comfortable. I got to be comfortable now, y'all. Everything is about still being fly, but being comfortable now. And high heels, definitely. High heels is going to be something that I've heard. I'm, I literally have turned into kind of a sneakerhead. A sneakerhead. I've always loved sandals. But if I wear heels they gotta have some thickness on the heel not so much anything over four inches I, I i think three inches is good for me if it has a platform maybe four but thick okay thick she said you said you would never sell it but i want the long okay now i'm gonna I'm tell you what she love them if i can't wear that skirt Literally, if I cannot wear that skirt, I'll sell it to you. I'll sell it to you. Now, you know, it's like, it's, that's, an, that's an archivable piece in my closet because that was handmade. Handmade, custom made. And yes, I would, I, I love when my I know what I have can go to somebody that's going to continue to wear it. And it's not just going to sit in a closet and collect dust. Okay. It's called let's save mother earth. Okay. Cause child, the way be going, honey, we ain't going to have shit to eat these days. Okay. Because everything is contaminated with everything. Do you hear me? Damn. So if I try that skirt on and that skirt, that skirt does not fit me, I'm not going to be like, okay, when I have my surgery next month, because y'all next month, we are evicting, we are, we, 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 we taking out the female engine, child. We taking her out. I got an appointment on Tuesday and I'm excited. Okay. I'm so excited. Um, I'm not going to say I'm going to wait until I get my transmission changed. I ain't going to say that because I'm just fine. New wardrobe. That's what I'm doing. And today I started that. I really like, really, really. I started it Saturday with some things I found. And I was like, okay, these are some things like whatever I put in the closet, some of these things I need to take out. That's where I'm at. And to me, it just makes the world go around to be su sustainable with it. Okay. Clothes don't got to end up in landfills. She said, when you do the surgery, make sure you have help. Um, Yes, I totally understand. Um, my sister just, um, she just had a procedure done dealing with um, fibroids. And um, I hope I'm able to get the procedure she had because she was a week later, she was up and doing her thing, okay? Um, but if not, um, Y'all know I got Mr. Long and y'all know Lil Jada here. So, and y'all know Bond, he'll try to carry a tray. He'll try. If he got to put it on his damn back, y'all, he'll try. Here comes my goodies from today. Here come Jada. Oh. This is from today, and this is all pretty much everything for me, okay? But I think what I'm gonna do to do this closet sale, um, y'all know the side that's Mr. Long's, 
I'm going to um, clear it out because right now it's full of stuff. Okay. I'm going to clear it out. And that's where I'm going to feed everything that is going to be ready to go. Um, things that, like, I can go ahead and take off the hangers now. I'm going to go ahead and take them off the hangers. I'm going to go ahead and pin them with numbers so that um, it is a smooth transition. She said, yes, because whoever helps is going to have to get up close and personal. Girl, you know I already know. You know I already know. However, I'm excited about this. I am. Um, let's let's poof be gone with the five birds, child, and don't have to worry about them ever, ever, ever again in life. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, why? Okay, I was gonna play the game with Tashawn, but you did not just go there and take out the Grinch. Bond made me so sick, y'all. He's so grown. He's so grown. He's so independent. Bond, you wanna play? Yes, I wanna play. Stop playing with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Are you doing person? Girl, everything. Nah, in my closet, no. I don't know. Yeah. They in the basement. Just go walk down there and you shall see. I think if I was to guess it's on when you walk down, I think it'd be on the right side. I have too many, um, too many bags. Now, y'all know I do have a personal collection in the closet. That personal collection is the ones that I got on display. Those is my forever ones, okay? But there are some that I can, like, really, really, it's time to let go. Okay? So I'm going to get started on this haul. Y'all be sure to hit the like button. I'm going to tell y'all if there's any, if if you are interested in anything that I show you tonight, all you got to do is put sold in a description. I'll send you an invoice after the, um, the haul. And um, you can settle your tab there, okay? But during hauls, I do not, I repeat, I do not say prices. I just tell you what I got. And if it's something you're interested in, boom, boom. Hey, Ken Ken, where you been, girl? Where you been? You been M-I-A. M-I-A-K-K. -K. Okay. So... Um, I'm falling at that point where I just want to let it go, let it go, because I ain't stopping shopping, y'all, I ain't, I ain't, so, first off, this was the bag that I told y'all I couldn't find the other night, and I knew it was another bag somewhere, and I thought it was in James's car, it wasn't, the bag was actually... Where was this bag? The bag was actually under this rack. I just didn't see it, okay? So, I'm gonna show y'all. This is the continuation of Saturday. These were the other pieces that I found on Saturday. Let me see if I see an empty hanger up here somewhere. Where is the no MF empty hanger? Okay. Now. Not now. Okay. So here we go. <sighs> I hope you're ready because when I tell y'all this jacket, why? <laughs> So when I mentioned the other day on Instagram that I was going to do a closet sale, um, some of y'all are on vacation and it was like, Steph, please wait till I get back um, on vacation. Please wait because I'm, I'm, I'm traveling right now. So that's why I'm just going to do it next week. But look, look at this blazer. This is cream, tuxedo, lapel, okay, single button. Faux pockets. It's got the the peplum skirt in the back. Okay, it 
is fire. Hey, Tara. So, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to step on over here to this side because I'm going to expose my goods. Okay? Um, yeah, my, my mama be saying national TV. Y'all yeah, national TV. You know what I'm saying? Hold that thought. Yeah, I don't be showing. I don't, I don't want my mama showing her face. Oh, no, no, no. It's not a, it's not a look. It's not a vibe. Okay. So this is this blazer right here. Okay. Wipe the camera off a little. Let me um get a paper towel. Hold on. get an alcohol wipe yeah because it is a little it's gloomy it is no lies told hey debbie hey gina i make everything look great girl you give me a whole lot of credit okay But this is the thing, y'all. <laughs> okay. Is that better? If that is better, give me some purple hearts and some thumbs up. If that is better. Okay. Where my glasses? All right. So, when shopping, ladies, this is a tip. Okay. I have two hacks for y'all tonight. Okay, two hacks for y'all to be able to utilize in everyday real life. Okay. All right. So this is the blazer. This is a size 12, I believe. A size 12. Boom, bada bing. The thing is, is when you are trying on clothes, do not be trying on clothes with a bonnet, okay? Do not be trying on clothes with a scarf on. Do not be trying on clothes and like you ain't feeling your best. If you feeling a little bloated that day, don't do it. Don't. Disaster. That's what's gonna happen. Disaster, okay? So, you make sure to try on clothes, particularly make sure your hair is done because the, the, the hair definitely plays a part in it, okay? And so we need this blazer in a 2XL. Um, also, put a little lip gloss on and just make sure that you know you feeling confident enough to want to try on some clothes and play in clothes. And because if, if you're not feeling comfortable, you're not feeling confident um, and you can't really visualize how you're going to put it together, just don't do it. Point blank on period. OK, don't do it. So now what I I want this, this to fit tighter. So what I think I would have done is I would have the the, the button move over okay and that ain't nothing but uh, um a stitch a stitch with the um don't you have some it's just a stitch of moving the button and i can move the button over myself okay hey green eyes all right so this is one blazer. I believe this is a size 12. I'll confirm when I take it off. And 
if someone wanted to purchase this, this is available. Okay, I'm not going to try this on, but when I tell you, y'all, y'all will not believe this, but this was the two-story thrift store that I went to on Saturday, and this is all I walked out of it with. This blazer, this one I'm about to show y'all, and this little bitty bag. It never happens like that, but it did that day, okay? So, this is the next piece that I got from Blair. Bond, when I need you to be barking, you ain't barking. Who is that singing outside? Can y'all hear that? Because I shall hear it, okay? Okay. Is that the the garment hanger? Must be. Okay. So let's see. Don't you have some black pants? Yes, I do. I keep tuxedo pants on deck. And you want to know who they was? Girl, they was my husband's from his tuxedo. He couldn't wear his tuxedo no more. I tried them on and they fit me just fine. Okay. So, here we go. This is a sweater dress, okay? Look at this. Look at this sweater dress. Look at this sweater dress. This is vintage. And who is this by? Viva Viviana. Hold up. Viviana collection. Um, I don't see a size. Okay. But this is a sweater dress. This is the front. And this is like actually sewn beading. And then this is like pencil skirt fit like down here. Okay. It has that part. Then this is got that little detail on the back. It looks like bad quality polyester. This is a sweater. What the hell are you talking about? This is a sweater. <laughs> Come on. Who are you? As Ethiopian Habisha, we not wearing that. Okay, real honey. You're welcome to stay, but you also can leave, okay? So, this is the back. It has the little buttons and oh yeah this snaps over here this snaps over here like so <laughs> I, know, I know face you move on okay like really so boom she told me this look like bad polyester. Girl, know your own um, materials. This is um, this is uh knit. This is knitwear, okay? Okay. All right. Now, out of all the kimonos I have ever found like this. Yes, you did, Bianca. You was on it, honey. This is the first time I found a long one in my favorite color. And this is the first time I ever found this color. Okay? Purple. It's a maxi. It has pockets, okay, split on the side. It has pockets on both sides, okay? This can be belted with another style belt. It does not, the belt, the matching sash does not come with it. However, it can be belted, okay? 
the first time I ever found this in this color. Okay. Okay. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. First time I ever found this color in the long one. Okay. I'm continuing, Ken Ken. I'm continuing, okay? Let me put my um let me put my um jogger um hoodie back on. And that's how they be throwing them in the TikToks. <laughs> they be throwing their pieces. Okay. Okay, so Bon Jane. All right. So at this particular spot, do you have water? Yes, ma'am. I do. I sure do. At this particular spot, when I go to this thrift store, I always walk in there with at least one fully overloaded bag. Okay. James came in there that day and he was like, this it. This was it. Okay. You not been in here this long time and that's all. Yep, that's it. All right. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Shayla. You are excused. You are excused for being tardy to the party. Hi, Taz. Oh, that was you that asked me for some about some water. Yes, ma'am, I do have some water. All right. This is the jewelry that I purchased that day. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I keep feeling like um, I was missing something. She said, but I'm in the place. Hello, mama. That's the name you should have gave me. You should have named me Fashion. That's going to be my alias, y'all. Fashion is in the building. Spelled exactly how it's supposed to be spelled, okay? So, this collar necklace is gold, okay? And this definitely looked like something the Egyptians <laughs> Well, well, okay. Definitely looks like something the Egyptians would wear. Okay. You know, you can wear these with your plain tees, like crew necks. You can wear these with your scoop necks. You can wear these with your collared blouses. And honey, it just gives it a whole different effect. Okay. So this is a go collared necklace all right and see i don't be looking at this stuff when i be at the store i don't but this one got a stamp on it let me see what the stamp says <clears throat> okay so y'all thank kim ken for giving for, for sending the professor this big ass magnifying glass okay because when i tell you it is bigger to see you with it really is okay what does that say it says natasha that's what it says I actually purchased something out of TJ Maxx today that is by Natasha. And, um, ooh, the earrings I bought today by Natasha are so pretty. They're so pretty. They are so me, okay? So, we have this collared necklace. We have, let me open the package. 
You just checked in. Gracias. We got 50 people and 26 have accounted for their presence. Have you accounted for your presence? Mama, did you hit the like button? Got this brooch right here in pearl and stones. Okay. Boom. And the back is gold. Okay. Debbie Gear said gold collared necklace. So boom. Hold on. I got you, Miss Debbie. Let me write down. Where's my pen, child? Where's my pen? Fine. What you did with my pen? I don't know. Where's my ink pen? Where's my All right, Mrs. Debbie Gear, I got you down. All right, let me make sure she right. Where's my pen I was going to use? Oh. Hold on, y'all. You know, the devil always show up and trying to um spot something, okay? Make a mess. Okay, got it. Debbie Gear for the collared necklace. Collar gold necklace. I got you, Miss Debbie. Boom. Okay. Put the brooch. <clears throat> All right. Next up, this is a, a necklace, and they was getting ready to close. And these pieces right here that I got, y'all, this was like all 15 minutes. Steph, if you keep putting your nails in the screen up close, I'm going to have to buy the nail polish. Actually, this is chrome. So this is a chrome. Um, it's like the powder. It's a chrome powder. And so far, the last three fills I got. I got rose gold. Last one I had was um, money green. And this color, I don't know what color this is, but it's like a, it's a, it's a chrome purple. Sometimes it look pink. Sometimes it don't. Okay. What does it say? Mathing, mathing hist. Um, oh, math, English, history. That's what it say. Okay. Child, I had to, um, I had to decode that. Okay. Where do you get your prescription glasses? I don't wear prescription glasses. Um, Gina, um, <coughs> because, um, when I get my eyes checked, I have to make sure um, I'm farsighted and nearsighted in one or, one or the other eye, okay? I believe I'm farsighted in my left, nearsighted in my right. So when the doctors ask me um, what kind of prescription, I've tried the um, glasses and I, I really... It was giving me a headache. The ones with the progressive, they got the little bifocal thing down here at the bottom. Uh, I couldn't do that. So, they gave me a prescription for my contacts that pretty much correct my vision for me to see at a distance because I do drive, okay? But as far as close up, they tell me I could do readers or magnifiers. And I am, these are by Betsy Johnson. They normally sell these like in TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Um, what's the other one? Ross. Um, and you get three pair. So this is like a purple magenta pair. That's another tortoise brown pair. Um, 
the pair I have on my head. You see the cobalt blue. Okay. And I have a burgundy pair, my favorite pair. There was yellow leopard ones. They broke. I was so upset. Do you hear me? There was my favorite ones. And I have a prescription. Um, I do the reader. Um, the two. The two. The plus two. That's the one I get. Because I got to see, child. So I'd rather be able to see from a distance when I'm driving versus up close. So I do readers for up close. So this is a, a man, a boy, okay, somebody, okay, and he is carrying books on his back, okay, books on his back, and it says math, English, and history, okay, and he looks sad, okay, he do, and it is on a gold chain, it's on a gold chain, and I just liked the little man. All right. Boom. I had said that if I didn't wear this as a necklace, I would use this. I would wear this as like a brooch and I would just pin it and pin this piece on to whatever. OK, because I just like him. I didn't know what he said in the stove, but now that I know it's beneficial. OK, it serves a purpose. I have contacts that do both. One does near and the okay. My contacts do both too. Um, hold on, let me think. This eye is uh two a two point two five, and this eye this is a negative point two five, and this eye is a plus point fifty. It balances, but she asked what was more important for me to see up close or me to see far away. And far, far, far away is the balance for me. Okay. My contacts do have color in them. I do have hazel eyes. And um, I'm like, if I'm gonna wear contacts, I'm gonna put a little a little extra. I'm gonna look like Mr. Jackson, who's my daddy, okay? Because y'all, my daddy do have ice green eyes. Ask my mama. Confirm it, mother. So this is a brooch. And it looks like this is a handmade brooch. It's red. It's a star. And how I be thinking, I am a star, okay? I'm a star. Got a little bling on it. And boom. The back is orange. And this is what you find when you're thrifting. You find cute, unique things that you ain't going to ever find up in your Forever 21s, okay? And the colors that, the color that I wear... In my eyes, they are, um, they're by Air Optics, and um, it's the, the colored lenses that are just the color on the outside of um, the lens. It's just on the outside. So it's a dark green, and then it fades, and then it, it allows my eye color to come through so they are not opaque at all okay waynette said sold brooch the star the star brooch sold star brooch thank you waynette i got you down bond the night that i need you to be making noise you ain't making noise okay why you can't tell these people to stop writing back here? Look, that dude was out there singing the whole Beyonce song, okay? I got you down, Miss uh, Wynette. And then this looked like this was probably made by the same person that made the star. This is a pendant. Okay, and it has like that mint green with like these little marble like flecks. Okay, it's a pendant. However, to me, 
I will take a pen and I will stick a pen in there. Or you can get the little brooch backings that you can get from like Michael's and put that on there and child, you will have a brooch because you could take this little hook off. Okay. And I could be transformed into a very like um, artsy type of brooch or you can put a necklace on it and wear it as a pendant. Okay. But it's stone. Okay. And in the same thing was this. I ain't see this, y'all. All I saw was that piece. But this also. <clears throat> so if y'all work on camo, that's the way to go, boo. The camo is to um make your camo as colorful as possible. Okay. There's my pen. Thank you. Oh. And just so you know, these Betsy Johnsons, you get three pair. They are $9.99. $9.99. You can't beat it. And this is the one I got right here. The two, the plus two. Okay. Green pendant Angela Henry. Angela Henry, have you shopped with me before? Let me know. If not, we need to tell you what needs to happen. Okay, green pendant. So, no, you haven't. Okay, right now, while we're still on this live, um, right now, I need you to go over to Instagram. If you have Instagram, do you have Instagram? Okay, go over to Instagram at I am Eclectnista. <laughs> Bianca giving you the rundown. She said she needs your real government name and address and to please DM me, okay? And I'm gonna just show you what my profile look like so you know you're on the right one. This is my profile. I am... <clears throat> Child, I am Eclectnista, okay? And make sure you follow me so that you can just say, hey, and then right after this live, I'll send you your invoice, okay? But I have put your item to the side. All right. <clears throat> so this will happen on Monday. Took my friend, got her car, got her car service. She was going to go visit her daughter. I told her I was going to go home, process orders. But on my way home, I made a pit stop, okay? Missed the pit stop I made. Now, here we go. Look at this. Look at this leather bag. Look. It is triangle shaped. Okay, black fringe. Okay, it's got like um, this very boho chic vibe. Zipper. Okay, it's still stuff. Who is the brand? This is Genuine Leather, and this is also a vintage bag. So, Genuine Leather vintage bag. Okay. This is a piece. And whoever had this, child, they did not wear this. And that's on period. Because I ain't going to lie. I feel like I need to take a little armor roll to this <laughs> and wipe her down. Because she got dust. Once I wipe her down, she's going to be good as new. Okay? So it can be worn like this. Or it can be worn like, like this. You like this fun? You like it? It's fine. Cuteness. Okay. Cuteness. Cute and different. Okay. That's what we go for. Different over here. All right. And then I found this. Okay. 
boom, the straw handbag. Now, I was like, Steph, if you keep this one for yourself, are you willing to part with are you willing to part with this one? Which which one y'all think I should keep? Which one? Which one? And don't be don't be just thinking about yourself now. Which one you think best look the best for me? This one or this one? I do, Angela. I do. Um, what did um, Mrs. Lady K say? Um, she said she she shops with me because of the eye. She said, I got the eye. Okay. The square bag I should keep. Yes. And this is, this is wood. Literally. This is wood. <laughs> Debbie said, keep both. <laughs> Debbie, you serious? She said, I think you should keep both of them. It's both a look. I think this one looks more feminine. And this one just looks like bold. Okay. Okay, everybody's saying the wood one I should keep. She said, Genius, I love the new one, but the wooden one is so you. That's why this one was already on the shelf. Okay. So this one will be available for purchase. Oh, and then look at this cute little detail. Y'all see that? It's got the little wooden, it's got the little wooden leaf on it, okay? And it's wrapped in leather. And well, it has um it has the little uh compartments in it, the zipper, and like the cell phone like pockets, so you know you don't go losing your phone, okay. But boom, I got two people saying I should keep both, <laughs> okay? We're going to just sit it to the side. That's what we're going to do. We're going to sit it to the side. And this one was already on the shelf in here. So we'll, maybe we'll just sit that one right there too, right? We'll sit that one right there. Oh, right there for now, Okay. All right, so what size is this blazer? This blazer is a size large and it's white. Now, when shopping in a thrift store, a white blazer is hard to come by, okay? Especially when it has some structure, okay? So this one is white and this is the lining on the inside. I have been seeing people do some fabulous things with um, blazers, okay? And I ain't gonna lie, I'm inspired to do it too. Show Liz. But this is the wooden blazer. It's got the shoulder pads already in it. I like that it's got the little, uh, It's a corsage, and what is the, it starts with a B. I can't think right now, okay? Um, but this came out of the men's department. It does have pockets, and literally, it came out of the men's department, and it was on the rack for them to pull out. They was getting ready to put out, and I snatched it before they even put it out, okay? Boom, white, size large. I was like, Jasmine would do some things with this, y'all. My Jasmine, she would do some things with this. This is a winner, okay? And to find a white blazer in a uh, secondhand store and it's still white is a winner, okay? So next... I'm from Miami and I wish we had a season to wear. Y'all could wear blazers. Y'all could, because if I lived in Florida still, girl, I would wear my shit. Now, the only thing I wouldn't be able to stunt and do is the fur. I would not be able to do that because I'm hot by nature, okay? And I'm from Florida. 
Okay. And I was just like, oh my gosh, you can wear blazers in Florida. You just got to make sure you have on layers. Okay. Layers are important, but I would not let that keep me from not wearing a blazer. I wouldn't. And girl, you in the you in the state where all the people go to retire. So when I say y'all be having that good good stuff, I can't wait to go down there. Chill. Okay, this is a size large, and as you can see, it has nightlife on it. That's what it says. Nightlife, lights, city. This is by Zara. Okay. And it has like a silky feel and it's a beautiful pink. It does have the um, three, three button French cuff. Okay. And this is a size large. To me, this is a very girly blouse. This is almost like that blouse that you got um, Bianca. Um, like a week ago with all the ladies on it we ain't had this angle i know you showed it and you ain't had this angle in a minute child shown like i was already set up so i just said i'm gonna stay over here okay so this is a size large and it is it is a button down and it does feel like silk okay that blouse that you got bianca you was on it honey you was on it no black though you'll see it's coming okay so everything that i'm showing y'all right now came from the goodwill on monday okay the goodwill i parted with my girl i said all right girl go on to philly go see your baby and i need to get to the house okay that's what i need to do but i had to make a pit stop because i i had a i was fiending okay so this is a cobalt blue T-strap back maxi dress, okay? This is a size, this is by J. Crew, and this is, it says a size four, but I did try this on, okay? And it's one of those full maxi dresses. Maxis with pockets is, is, is a jewel, okay? Is a serious jewel. Okay, so this maxi, where's the other pocket? This maxi has one pocket, which is on this side. And this is a full to the flow maxi dress. Okay, full to the flow. Now, this can definitely get belted if you are not somebody who like the full effect. I don't care about it being full because, child, it's called once you eat. There you go. You ain't got to be running about sucking it in. You ain't got to be running about nothing, child. Just be full. You can wear it with a belt. <laughs> and then when, when it's time to finish eating, girl, just um, literally, just take the belt off, okay? Take the belt off. I know Bianca. And then while I was in there, I paired it with this. Okay. I paired it with this nice little, um, it's like an embroidered clutch. Okay. It's got the gold trimming. Let me see if it's got a name in it. No, it does not. But it does have two compartments. You can add a chain to it. And I don't know about y'all, but I keep a link chain that can um, be added to a clutch or a bag if it doesn't have one. Amazon is the friend when it comes to that. But this with this and with some dropped earrings, baby, this is a look. Now, this is a size four. I wear a large, y'all. And like I said, I can wear this. I can wear this. I would say this will best fit a medium to a large, okay? If you need measurements, let me know, and I'll let you know.
Okay. So those are the four pieces that I got from the Goodwill. I had to satisfy my urge. Okay. I had to. Now, I went to the Salvation Army also. And normally, I don't go over there. Um, I don't go over there in the middle. In the, huh? I don't go over there in the early part of the week. Do too. I don't wait for them to restock from the weekend, okay? As a reseller, you got to know when the best time to go to the thrift stores and the worst time to go is on Monday. So for me to find these four pieces at the Goodwill, I did good. Okay, so Mrs. Lady K, the blue maxi. I got you. Let me write this down. Mrs. Lady K. And it does have a silky feel to it, Miss Lady K, just so you know. Blue Maxi. J. Crew. Okay. So oh. Salvation Army was a hit on this day, okay? It was a hit. Okay, it was a hit. So, I went blazer crazy in the Salvation Army. Yeah, she said she's got to see how it moves. Yes. Okay, so this is so pretty. Oh my God, this is so pretty. This is a size 16. Now, remember, I had told y'all on Tuesday there was a bag in my car that. It was for me, okay? Um, this is that bag, okay? I'm going to show y'all this first, all right? This is that bag. So, this is, this is like a short Bardot, um, like a cropped jacket. As you see, it's in bronze. You see that bronze? You see the floral print, okay? And this is gorgeous. The um, elderly lady that works there, she was like, I swear. She said, I work in this store all day. And when you come in here, you just open my eyes to stuff, okay? Beautiful, 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 okay? My vision I see with this is a fitted tank top with some um, denim and bada boom, okay? It fit lovely. Now, I'm still going to give y'all a try-on haul, and I'm going to show y'all how I really would wear these outside, okay? I'm going to show y'all how I would wear these outside. It's just that um, I want to wash everything and in order for me to wash everything, I would just have to show y'all and get it out. Because after it get washed, it's going straight in the closet. Okay. Y'all going to trip on this one, okay? So, it's spring. It is spring, okay? It's spring. This is like a sweat shirt cardigan, okay? A sweatshirt cardigan. It buttons down. It's got pockets, but this is what it got. It's got all these dog on, sewn on buttons, okay? In my mind, I would add more. The more, the merrier, okay? I would. This is the back, how they did it in the back. And I could fall. I could literally follow this whole pattern, all right? I could do the same thing here and go down and down and down. Ken Ken, this is not for sale. This one is mine. This is the bag that I told them on Tuesday. This was my bag that was sitting in the car. This, um, it's a size, it says a size medium. A size medium, and this fit 
this fit. Okay, I was so glad that day when I went in there. I had on a blazer myself. But Ken Ken, this one is mine. This the next couple pieces that I'm showing you, these are mine. She said, you know, I want to get ready. You, you know, you uh-uh. And I'm gonna tell you why. Hold that thought. Boom. Boom. This bag. I bought this bag. I bought this bag in 1999. 1999. I was in North Carolina. Okay. I was in North Carolina. And I bought this bag. Okay. There's a pair of shoes slip on mules that have these buttons all over it okay that are in that closet over there all right now i'm not gonna wear them all at the same time but i'm definitely gonna wear this with this oh, most definitely okay i've had this bag since 1999 no lies y'all this was probably I can't, that's why I'm having a closet clear out um next week. Ken Ken, you better be tuned in. Cause I'm gonna tell you, I'm not gonna wait until the evening time. I'm going to do those two lives during the day. I am because I just I just feel like I have to do it during the day because I don't want it to get dark. I don't want it to get nighttime. I want y'all to be able to see everything. But this, I spent a little grip on this bag, okay? A little grip. And she's my first bag I think I personally bought myself that I spent a good grip on, okay? And she cute. Let me see if my phone fit in there. No, nah, child, the, the iPhone, done, it, done, it, done, it done got too damn big for the iPhone, but my other phone will fit in now. So, Ken Ken, that one is, that one is to stay, baby. Okay, so we have a black blazer. When we, when I clean out the closet, because I tell you, the closet is, it's organized, but it's stuff everywhere in my closet everywhere and it's stuff that i've been pulling and it's a pile of it on the island it's a it's, a, it's stuff that i've been pulling out. i'm like okay i don't want this no more pack apart with this so this is time to do a closet sale like a real closet sale y'all okay girl you better be at the work i'm gonna be doing the live closet sale Tuesday and Wednesday, and I preferably would like to start at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? Okay. So, this is a simple 
black blazer, simple. Okay, it's just simple. But it single button closure. Okay. And it's like the perfect length for like when you're wearing with jeans, your booty can still be popping. But at the same time, it's just a simple black blazer. And it's going to work for whatever I want to throw it on. Yeah, it's going to be a lunchtime closet sale. And I'm already prepared to be on the live for about four or five hours. I'm already prepared. Okay. So then this blazer, I'm almost done with this bag. Yeah, this is for me. Okay. Look at this blazer. This, oh, child. Okay. It's double breasted. It is in a fuchsia hot pink. This is Jones, New York. Okay. Jones, New York. I think tomorrow I'm going to put this one, the black one, and this brown one. And I'm about to show y'all next. I'm going to go throw these in the cleaners right quick. But it's nicely lined and it fits great. Okay. And it's a bit oversized. So, because it's a size 16. And y'all know Vintage 16 is. Actually, a size 12 in modern day size. Okay. So it fits really good. <laughs> this was a keeper. Okay. This was a keeper. Because I'm cleaning out my blazers as well during this closet sale. Okay. It's some things, it's, it's time for me to um, let them rotate out into the world. Okay. So this is that old time. This is like polyester. What's the old boy name? Um, John, the daddy from Friday. And he said, coordinate. Okay. This this that polyester jacket, child. This that polyester jacket that, that got that print in it. Okay. You see that? Got that print. This is so, so, so fly. This is like the perfect neutral color. This one came out the men's department. Okay. This one came out of the men's department. It's like a nutmeg brown. And yep, it's polyester. Do you hear me? I don't even care because I'm a show funk it. Okay. So three of these blazers are going into the cleaners tomorrow. Now, I don't care. They were talking about animal print going out of style. Who the hell, who, who, who said that? Animal print ain't never going out of style, child. Never. Now, this is an animal print, like, cardigan. It has buttons. It has pockets. Do you see how it's moving? It's not a sweater. It's not knit. It is like that jersey material. And when I put this on, it was just like, bada bing, bada bam. Do you hear me? Yes, animal print is a neutral. I was like, okay, I know we all think we, you know, we fashion experts, okay? But when you start talking about uh, animal print is out of style, child, you lied, okay? This just grazed over my body. And this is like the perfect just throw on and let go. That's what it is, let go. So that got to go in the wash. Okay, I'm going to show y'all the purse first. This is the purse first, okay? Mrs. Lady K, are you still in here? I can't remember if you bought that black velvet um, peplum bodysuit. I can't remember if you bought it, but this is the clutch, okay? Yes! Houndstooth, camo, plaid. It goes with anything, okay? It, it works. So this is a cranberry burgundy that has like this chain like. And I like the fact that it really do look like an envelope. You didn't buy it. 
Well, wait till you see this one that I got. This I'm keeping this one, okay? You're gonna be like, um, let me get that black one stuff. This is fly. Envelope clutch. This is by who is this by? Design lab. It's got all the pockets, got you got credit card slots in it, and it's cranberry all the way around. Okay. Now look at this piece. The little lady at the um register, she was ringing me up. She said, Oh, I said, I know, right? She says, Tell me how you're gonna wear this, baby. Tell me how you're gonna wear this. I said, I'm gonna tell y'all. Okay. This is very Victorian steampunk renaissance, okay? She said, but you go on now. What you talking about? She said, no, because remember, I didn't like a portion of it. Now, don't Listen, I told you what to do because I'm going to do the same thing with what I told you what to do. I just told you everything that I just got this bag, I am going to style it over the weekend and... I'm going to do a video. And I'm going to say things I thrifted. Now it's time for me to style and show y'all how to wear it. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Do you see this? Do you see this? Okay. Look at, look at the sleeves. Okay. You, you think you're about to see a whole prom dress, right? No, you're not. Look at this. Do you see the back? Do you see the back? This is a dancer's outfit. Okay, you know, when they be on, um, um <laughs> what's that show with the moms? They be there with their daughters dancing and shit like that. This is one of them fits. Okay, look at the little skirt part. Okay, I like that it's like, jagged hemmed the whole nine okay and then look they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna biker shorts okay there go the biker shorts okay tell me this is not a piece tell me this is not a piece i'm going to wear this with some denim okay some fitted denim all right when i put this on this is the part that's going to be in the jeans. This part, because it's right here, this part is going to be outside of the jeans. And it's going to create this peplum antique vintage silhouette. Okay? I'm going to have my clutch. I'm going to have my dancer's bun. And yes, I ain't coming to play. Okay? She said, if that bodysuit was like this cranberry, then I would. You still. See, I'm going to have to add that one to this um thing, to this video. This is gorgeous. She was like, baby, you going to do what? Yup. Yup. It's my size, too. And. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I'ma serve them. I'ma serve them. I'ma serve them on a gold, platinum, or silver platter. Do you hear me? I am. I am. She said, and then you done went over there and dug in the bin and found you a bag to match. I sure did. I sure did. I sure did. I sure did. So this was the bag that I told y'all that was in the car the other day. Okay. And this is the bag that I said that these pieces I specifically purchased for myself. Okay? Specifically purchased for myself. Hey, Renata. Okay, I got your blue dress over here, Miss Lady K. Hey, Cheryl, how you doing? Okay, so we're going to jump to today's bag. Now, everything in this TJ Maxx bag, y'all, I filmed a TikTok 
when I was doing this, um, when I was doing a try on and stuff, I got to uh, edit it and then I'm going to post it. Okay. But everything in this bag is mine. So we'll show this last. Okay. So today I just did my rounds. Yesterday I was home packing up y'all orders all day all day i was drowned in all kinds of stuff okay but today i was like i'm gonna stay home because it's gonna rain and then my my spidey senses went off and said no stephanie go and i went so this first piece i'm about to show y'all this is from my my um consignment store i like to shop at Okay, they know me by name and now. And child, I got a date with them on Sunday, child. Ain't that funny? I got a date with <laughs> the workers at the consignment shop on Sunday, okay? Because they asked me, they was like, where do you get your stuff? I'm just like, you, every time you come here, you so fly. And I said, I told you, I be telling you I thrifted it. And I said, I don't know why you don't be believing me. She said, no, I do believe you. She was like, but where? This is a Zara knit sweater. This is a size medium. Okay, size medium. It, it, it scratches, so it don't just look like it's going to be tight, okay? I'm loving the detail. Loving, loving, loving the details. Got the ruffled to look good with like high waist jeans or even some boyfriend jeans. Okay, this this is definitely a look. So we back on. This is available. Okay, these things are available. Now, if y'all don't buy this stuff, <clears throat> and I told you I don't buy nothing that I would not wear. These things are gonna get worked into my new wardrobe. Okay, because that's what I'm working on now. It's time to be out with the old and in with the new. Okay. Oh, well, I'm, I'm digging in another bag, y'all. Hey, Cheryl. Hey. Oh, Tess, I did not speak to you. Hey, Crystal. Y'all. Where did I get this? Okay. So this is the consignment stuff. The sweater. And these. These are silver and they have like the coins and they have like the black onyx stone. So what, Miss um, Lady K? Because you know that if I have to go back in this chat to go look, I need I need to see description. Okay. You in and out, girl. You better stay over here because right now is not where you want to be, child. I'm just saying. Okay, so she said earrings, silver coin, earrings. See, you missing out. You missing out, lady. And this ain't this ain't like you. Silver medallion coin earrings. Okay, I got you down for those. This sweater. <clears throat> this is a Zara sweater. And it look antique. That's what drew me to it. Okay, it looks antique. That's the details. Okay, long sleeves, knit, and the front mimics the back. Okay, so pretty. She said, I'm doing recon. Okay, then we have it's a medium, but it's scratch. Like I said, whatever y'all don't buy, I'm keeping. Because once it go in my closet, this time, this, this, what I'm showing y'all now is not going to come out. So I'm just going, I'm telling y'all right now, 
tonight is buy it or leave it. Okay. Hey, MLL fishing man. Thank you for telling them to give me a thumbs up. Okay. So we have these black fan earrings and this does, it's like a leather texture and it has the gold medallion pieces on, um, what am I trying to say? The gold medallion centerpiece. Okay. So it feels like leather. Okay. And these are post. Let me see what's going on. Okay. Angela Henry. So this is the story, y'all. I'm reinventing my wardrobe. That's why I'm going to have a closet sale. So because I'm having a closet sale, I am buying myself new items, okay? And I'm going to show it to y'all in the haul. And if you don't grab it right then and there, you won't see it again. It's going to officially go into the damn closet, okay? Because this is working on my new wardrobe, okay? So Angela Zara crochet sweater. She said, damn it, I'm typing Bianca and missed the sweater. You missed it, boo. You did. Okay, so I got the sweater for Angela. Let me move this off to the side. Because like doing three pause, whatever y'all see from now on, you won't see again. And that's all. I mean it. It's going to the new wardrobe. Okay. Now, <sighs> Bianca, these, Bianca black um, leather fan earrings. You should have a nice little collection of earrings, Bianca. You really should. You have a nice little collection over there at your house. Okay, let me make sure I ain't miss nothing. I got the Zara sweater, black earrings. What direction are you going in with your new wardrobe? My new wardrobe, you kind of can kind of see the story. It's still going to be an eclectic wardrobe, yet still um, vintage inspired because I, I, I like the look of vintage stuff because everybody don't, everybody, I don't like looking like no damn body else, okay? I like looking like me. Um, But kind of, bo it's an eclectic, bohemian, chic. However, I'm going to have them statement pieces that's going to that's gonna snatch your edges. You feel me? It's going to snatch your edges, all right? You have a good collection over there. Okay, so this first piece that I'm about to show y'all, y'all, two of these pieces, they had these this whole set separated in the damn stove, okay? And then I done matched it up with a damn necklace. That's how bad the professor is, okay? So this is the necklace. This is a leather, a leather um twisted rope um necklace and then this is the medallion that falls off of it it has this um black stones with these wooden beads this is what the back looks like okay let me see what type of toggle closure it has <clears throat> Okay, it has the fish hook toggle closer. So you know that this was literally handmade, okay? Now wait till you see the earrings and the bracelet that can go with this. I, I purchased all these three pieces separate. When I like what I like, I like, okay? So here is the bracelet, okay? Here's the bracelet. And it has this uh, gold button. So the bracelet opens up. All right. And this is what the bracelet looks like with the stone. All right. 
And then we have this closure here. Closes it up. Okay. Boom. Bada bing. Statement piece. And then here go the earrings. Look at that. Look at that. You got the earrings. You got the bracelet. And you got the necklace. This is a look. It's a look. So, that's all I bought from the consignments, though, y'all. That was it. One, two, three, four, five. Five pieces from the consignment store. And then I think, hold up. And then, excuse me, I circle back around to the Salvation Army today. And look at this. I don't know. I, I I don't know if I could wear this or not, but I could not leave it. I could not. Somebody, somebody can wear it. Okay. This is um this is vintage and it's a size 34. <clears throat> and this is a vintage nightgown. Okay. I don't think I ever saw my grandma wear no nightgown like this, okay? Just like that Marilyn Monroe type shit. You hear me? Okay, so here we have it. This is the top, and this is the bust, okay? The lace, and then this is the bottom piece, okay? This! is a beautiful yes gone with the wind scarlet what is okay scarlet she was she was running around the house with this song y'all this is so so pretty so pretty look at this oh and this is a size 34 Okay, 34. And it's in this beautiful, this is like the color gold. Okay, it's gold. And then this was the last thing that I got at the Salvation Army today. And it was this. Okay, this little big rot here. Okay, so we have this is genuine leather. Shoot, it's giving vibes with this. Okay, genuine leather mixed prints. Okay, it has the um oyster uh class opening. Okay. Genuine leather. It has a handle top so it can be carried like this as well. It has a zipper on the back. It's brown. And it also does have a strap that can be lengthened. Okay. I ain't trying to break a nail right now to um, undo it. But this is it. Okay. Now this last spot, all I'm going to say is, and here we go. I can't even hang this up right. Okay. This is a black organza puff cropped top. It looks Victorian. This is a size large. Okay, size large. These are the sleeves. And they do have elastic, so this does fall off the shoulder. 
okay this is the bust okay and it does have that elastic give I did try this on in the store because they actually had a freaking fitting room that you could go in and try on okay that's the front and then this is the back and the waist also has elastic in it beautiful okay beautiful okay miss lady kaden put her name out there for this puff top that's what she called it <laughs> she called it a puff top a puff top mrs lady k black puff top all right got you sit you over here okay now y'all my mama found something for me last week in south florida when i tell you she was with a little little friend who liked the thrift stop he's a it's a he okay they were so excited, honey, when they called me, okay? Because she knew she had found a gym, all right? Took a picture for it and everything for me. And I was just fab flabbergasted, okay? I really was. But y'all know I'm loving the black and white. And I'm loving anything that got some faces on it, okay? Y'all know my black Donnie Brooke um, faces jacket, my coat, the, the, the fur coat. Um, child, look at this. Okay. It's like a little slip dress. And this is size. This is size 810. And it does have stretch. Okay. And it definitely gives off pencil skirt vibes. Okay. Pencil skirt vibes. And this is a look. This is a look. My mama found another faces jacket for me, y'all. And she was like, I could not leave it in the store. I had to get it. I had to get it for you, girl. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. Okay. This is fly. This is a cropped sweater with the blood, the, the, the. The bell sleeves, okay? Cropped sweater. You could wear this over a slip dress, okay? So it'd be silky on the bottom, and we have all this texture on the top, okay? And look, I was in the fit in the dressing room, right? And I was like, okay, I don't want to pull it. This is from Urban Outfitters. Boho is selling a cover-up that will go great with that. I believe it had the same faces. Boohoo! Send me the link. Okay? Look at that. Look at that. I see this with a slip dress. That's what I see this with. A slip dress and some combat boots or some Doc Martens to edge it up. That's what I see with this. Okay? Beautiful. And this is a size medium. And I just look like, I like the fact that it looks tethered. It looks tethered and it looks distressed. And don't be surprised you don't see it next week. Okay? Because I actually like, if, if, if it's still in my wardrobe next week. Okay? Okay. Child, why they mess around and let me go in the fitting room? And try these little things on right here. The lime green, like little box of shorts that got the ruching right here on the front with the bungee cords. Okay. And baby, they was fitting, honey. They was fitting. You could wear a little crop sweater or something with this too. These are a size large. And I do have the adjustable um drawstring like the bungee bungee cord drawstring and these are a yes i really like the way these fit um 
I ain't never leaving uh, um boys in the hood t-shirt and stuff. Never. Okay. Classic. And y'all, y'all know this is so easy to do. Cut the bottom and cut the sleeves of like oversized t-shirts to make them. Maybe I should do a tutorial and show y'all how to do this because this is easy. I take lots of my husband's t-shirts that he be purging and I will do this type of look. This is the boys in the hood and this is large with the cube. That's cube and who else? This is all cube child, South Central, okay? <laughs> South Central. Hey, Allie. Boom. I just thought this top was cute. This is, this is I think this in yellow and pink is my color for spring and summer this year, okay? I'm going to have to say in a little lime green. So this is like a little ruffled crop top. has the ruffles, adjustable straps. My favorite, some elastic, okay? Elastic. And who is, they don't say who this is by. I don't know. But this is a cute little top that I could wear with like some linen um, pants with some shorts. I told y'all I ain't never leaving the lingerie section. I'm not. And I did go in the fitting room and I tried this on. And this fit really good. So this is white. And this is not a color that I actually come by a whole lot that does not look dingy. Okay? If it's dingy, it can stay at the store. Okay? I can't do magic with dingy. All right, but this one is white and it has the caged look right here. It's a bodysuit, stretchy. I told y'all it's a thing called a washing machine and dryer, but I always do a crotch check. Always. Okay, because nine times out of ten, women don't wear their lingerie. Okay. This is an extra large. This is an extra large. And this is this is a piece too. Okay. I tell you, I'm very I'm feeling like very bohemian. Okay, so this is a cropped floral top that has statement sleeves with the lantern um, ending. This one is got the ruffle, it's cropped at the top. It has the elastic, a deep V, okay? And then this is the back. I can see this with a skirt or a, um, some pants some linen, like linen pants or some jeans, okay? And this is a size large. This one is not for sale. This one is, because every time I get one of these pieces, I sell it too. And I ain't selling this one. So I went, I took the time to go in the dressing room and try this bitch out. <laughs> so I'm keeping this uh, slip dress right here. Um... This one is gorgeous, okay? And this is a print I don't have in my closet, okay? But I'm going to show y'all what I was talking about with, like, a slip, a slip dress. This is that sweater I just showed y'all. This sweater looks like it's going to fall off the shoulder, Okay? And then we have the print on the bottom with some combat boots. This is a look, okay? This is a look. Let this part fall off the shoulder. If it's able to fall off the shoulder, 
But your slip dresses, they, they ain't going nowhere. They not. You can wear these year round, all year round. Okay. So this one I am definitely keeping for myself because I always sell the ones that I find. And then this is a free people jumper. Free people jumper. It's in hot pink. This is a size 12. This does button up. It's unbuttoned because I'm going to fit around and try it on. Okay. And this is why I didn't take the time button it back up because of my nails. Okay. I think it's time for a, a length check. Cut them down some. Because, child, I have um, Jada or James in her fastening me up. Okay. I can't button it, y'all. I can't. Okay. But it has this tie that it, it happens in front. All right. And then it's wide leg. Wide leg, pockets. It, it, it looks like it has a look of like overalls. And it's got a pocket on the back. It's got lined shorts on the inside. And this is a piece. And this is three people. This is a size 12. This is Lady K wants the free people jumper. Gotcha. Free people pink jumper. Got you, Miss Lady K. <clears throat> now, y'all, these are the shoes I found today. These are the shoes I found today. Now, let me just tell y'all, I shop everywhere. I source everywhere. Not just at thrift stores. I source online. I source other resellers. I source everywhere, okay? I told y'all I'm getting ready to get um, stilettos out of my life, okay? They're not something I no longer want to wear, okay? This is a chunky heel, like this is going to work best for me, okay? These are black leather. They are um, ankle straps. This is the toe. And then these are by Halston, okay? Halston. And when I say, girl, I, was, I could run in these. Like, literally, you have to do the run and jump test, okay? I could run in these. These are size eight, and these were perfect. Tina, you say you're going to watch the replay? Oh, you're watching the replay already. Okay. So, black can't go wrong, okay? Those that's something you can wear with anything, any and everything. These specifically to me are ones that I could wear universally with um dresses, skirts, shorts, everything, okay? And I just like the fact that it looked like it's buckled, but child, that's velcro. I ain't got to be bending down, child, trying to fasten no damn ankle strap, okay? Velcro. Boom. Oh, child. You see what color these is, right? I told y'all, when y'all see these type of shoes, this shoe is not supposed to get tied all the way up your leg on your thigh, okay? You look like an amateur, all right? It's supposed to stay as close to the ankle as possible. I'm geared towards chunky heels like this. Metallic green. I tell y'all, this is a color that I'm like really loving. Yes, I am live now. I'm still live. You're just watching it from the beginning. <clears throat> if you refresh your browser, it'll bring you to where I'm at right now. 
and then you can watch the replay okay so let me just give y'all a visual that's my leg okay and then this is the shoe this is the shoe how my feet looked perfect in these okay perfect and these are a size i think these are a size seven i think these are size seven <clears throat> Yep, these are a size seven, and these are from Misguided. Boom. Does the bracelet that match the earrings have stretch to it? No, it doesn't. This is how you know this is kind of, this is handmade. It has that piece right there, and it clasps and it open, and then snap it back. Okay, that's your closure. So these were <laughs> like that. Okay. Hey, Tina. Now, this was an interesting bag to me, y'all. This was an interesting bag, interesting shape and all. But because of the color, you don't find cute white bags. Okay. Ever. Okay. Ever. Unless it's expensive. Okay. Look at this bag. Got the strap. It has this odd shape to it. Okay. It zips. Child and it got money in it already, child. Okay, so it's already got some change in it. And it has a two-way zipper. Okay, I probably would never wear this bag with the strap. I would wear it as a top handle because I actually like the shape of it. Okay. Now tonight I'm going to go in my Poshmark likes <laughs> and I am about to toss out of my Poshmark likes. I'm about to toss these out because I found these in person in the face today, okay? And I love, love, love this shoe. Like, it's sitting in my Poshmark like y'all, waiting to hit by now, okay? But something told me, wait, wait. So I'm going to show y'all. This sexy ass, girly ass shoe. Okay, this is right up my alley, honey. Okay, well, I'm trying to um, I'm trying to give y'all a whole complete visual. Okay, and why I like this shoe. And this is this is what I'm this is what I'm definitely transitioning over to far as my heels in my closet. If it ain't a thick heel. Or it's a heel that doesn't have a, a thick base. It's got to go. Okay, these are Betsy Johnson's. And this is, these are actually like on the website still, okay? On the website still. This black and white ankle strap, thick heel. And it's this for me, okay? I'm loving the colors, okay? I'm loving the colors, loving, loving, loving the colors. And these are Betsy Johnson. These are in my Poshmark likes right now, okay? Right now. And I'm going to go in there and delete them because I actually, I got them now, okay? These are so, they comfy too comfy you said she has a yes she does have a lower version too i'm not a wedge girl i'm not uh i'm funny about wedges okay she said i can't i can't wear heels anymore i can't wear skinny heels anymore tina i need something that got some some girth okay and y'all don't take your mind to the gutter when i say that i need something with some thickness in it okay and this is the type of heel 
I could do. Because the way these knees, I ain't got Megan knees, child. And Megan keep doing what she doing, she ain't going to have Megan knees either much longer. Okay? So I was so happy with that purchase right there. I was like, ah! about Bella. Now, this is what I got from TJ Maxx today for myself. Okay? So, get ready. I often go into TJ Maxx specifically looking for um, Betsy Johnson stuff. Yes, Miss Lady K, that was a lucky purchase. I got three pair of two designer pair and one came from Misguided. I got three pair of like fly ass shoes, okay? So for every pair of shoes that I put in my closet now, that's how many need to come out. Cause I'm, when I say I'm over the stiletto, I am. These are not for sale y'all. I went shopping for myself for one I'm gonna show y'all. Look at these earrings. I was looking for another pair. I was looking for another pair to sell. But that is a flower, okay? That is an upside down flower that dangles, okay? And it's this type of back. And these are gorgeous. I freaking love, love, love these, okay? Your accessories make your outfit okay so i got these and this is the brand that that necklace is by natasha and then i bought these okay Today, I saw some of the most flyest elderly women I have ever seen, okay, when I've been out shopping. And I'm going to tell you, when I see when I see them, I have to let them know they doing the damn thing, okay? They doing it. I mean, child, they had their colors on and all. Look at these. These are a waffle cone ice cream with the cherries and stuff. And it's yellow, pink with a little bit of red and gold. A waffle cone. I like these. Okay, I like novelty earrings too. And I got these from um TJ Maxx. And these was $9.99. And these were $9.99 at TJ Maxx. And then I got this exquisite maxi dress. I, I could not leave this. I could not. This is like that blue dress that Miss Lady K just claimed. Okay. And this is like it's a it's by Nicole Miller. And then this is the full print dress. Okay. It has pockets. Okay, we love a dress that has pockets. It's T strap, it has a built in shelf bra. Okay, built in shelf, shelf bra. I actually had to get a size medium in this dress. I had picked up a large, the large was too big in the bust, and I went and picked up the medium, and the medium was perfect and it's to the flow. Okay. I love, 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 love this. Okay. I love the print. Oh, green eyes. So this dress was $39.99 at TJ Maxx. And like I said, this was a selling point for me. The fact that it had a built-in bra. Okay. Built-in shelf bra. So I got this. <laughs> Oh, I was about to go off. He, I was about to say, he ain't put my um, 
my earrings in there. And this is another maxi dress I got from TJ Maxx. I'm going back to TJ Maxx in another area tomorrow because the color I wanted was in this bright yellow with green and um, orange in it. And so I still like this print too. And this is the full maxi dress. It's full. This is like moo moo, like maxi. Okay. It's got the ruffle. It just needs to be ironed. Okay. Because it's wrinkled. Like I don't know what. <coughs> this is a size large. And this is by a brand called ATL. They had it in yellow, orange, green, and white. They had it in this um, color palette with the pinks and the purples. And they had it in another color palette. It was like in a blue color palette. Okay. So this is like for my new wardrobe. Okay. It's got pockets. This piece right here is very important to me. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a chick that I need to be able to put my phone in my pocket. Okay. And it goes to the flow. Now, I'm going to tell you why I got a large. I had tried on a medium. This piece right here was choking my chest. Do you hear me? It had my chest in a choke hole, okay? So, I said, let me go get the large. I tried the large on, and it laid how it was supposed to lay, okay? It laid, and it wasn't choking my chest, all right? It has adjustable straps, and this dress was $24.99, okay? Tomorrow, I am hitting a TJ Maxx <coughs> in my travels in the morning. I will be hitting TJ Maxx because I have to have that yellow and orange because that's what I had paired with those earrings I just showed y'all with the waffle cones. And I just love the way it looked together, okay? And then last, but not least, I got these cute-ass earrings by Betsy Johnson, okay? Y'all, I know y'all done seen them white strawberries that they trying to sell in the damn grocery store. I ain't buying them. I think they're genetically made, okay? Because I ain't never seen white straw, pink white strawberries in my life, okay? <sighs> These Betsy Johnsons, it's the ruby stone with the white strawberry with the red rubies going around. <sighs> quirky and this is just a, a a nice way that you can add a little pop to your outfit okay dangles love 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 them okay y'all they in tj maxx they got some fire ass jewelry when i go there tomorrow please be watching me on instagram because i will go through their damn counter and i will show y'all they had some bling 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 statement necklaces in there i'm talking about this shit was all these colored stones that went all the way down here okay thirty dollars thirty dollars they had the 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 short ones that was like like here 24.99 they even had some that was 19.99 okay i was like i need to get up out of tj maxx like quick okay let me go back thrifting all right y'all if you're looking for some like fabulous like um maxi dresses that have uh pockets and you have all kinds of like flowy styles um it be some designer brands y'all know in tj max and <coughs> $24.99, $39.99. Shit, it was even a dress that I saw that it was in there for like $59.99. They would have had my size if it would came home with me, okay? Um, just fabulous, fabulous pieces. But I'm going to tell you, I've been thinking about these babies right here all, all afternoon. <laughs> I, I've been thinking about these all afternoon. 
I just love this. I love the upside down flower. So that concludes tonight's haul, y'all. I hit all the places that I hit on, on Monday. I hit the Goodwill, the Salvation Army on Monday. I circled back over there on Tuesday. No, not on Tuesday. Yes, I did. On Tuesday, the consignment shop. And then um, today I hit another thrift store that um, I had been meaning to hit. That's where I got these Betsy Johnson shoes from. And um, I got the majority of the shoes from. When I went back to Burlington today, I know some of y'all wanted um, these shoes right here. They only had one size and they had size 10. So tomorrow in my morning travels where I'm going, there's two Burlington's where I'm going. I'm going to stop and see if they got me outside. But it was, it was these right here. Okay. And these came from Burlington Coat Factory and it's, it's a sandal. Okay. It's a sandal. Yes, Mrs. Lady K. Yeah, you got to go back up into the TJ Maxx, honey. And I'm going to tell you, there's a level to TJ Maxx's, okay? When you want a TJ Maxx, if you don't have a jewelry counter, I don't think it's like a high-grade type TJ Maxx. Meaning, I don't think they graded to... To get like a whole bunch of designer stuff. Because you can find free, free people at Anthropology. You can even find Zara. You can find a, a lot of designer brands in TJ Maxx. Not so much to me, Ross. Okay. Uh, that sister store, it goes Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. And if you go into a, a high grade TJ Maxx, You'll find all kind of designer clothing, shoes, handbags. Essential. I always find the Betsy Johnson um, readers in a high, a high grade uh, TJ Maxx. And like my mom would been wanting me to get her son. Um, I don't, I think I don't remember her her reader strength that she wants because they had some today, but they weren't the Betsy ones. They was another brand. That weren't cat eyes. I specifically like cat eyes. Okay. So if you guys go back and watch the replay, be sure to hit me up over on the gram. Angela, since this is your first time shopping with me, you up first. I will be sending you um, your invoice first. Yes, Kim, it's called Off the Runway. If you have an Off the Runway in your TJ Maxx plus a jewelry counter, you in the right TJ Maxx. When I go into TJ Maxx's and they don't have a jewelry counter, I be like, I be like real weary about being in there, okay? Because sometimes you're not going to find things. You can find like even designer perfumes and stuff. They be having all kinds of shit up in there, okay? Don't be surprised you don't start seeing the, Morph the Morphe um, cosmetic line in there. They already had it in there, but don't be surprised you don't see... The rest of it enough because they literally done closed and went out of business okay and i actually like morphe i did but i'm all right i sure am so y'all i had a wonderful little short afternoon break today um i went to how many thrift stores i went to today because i, I kind of stayed a little i stayed within like a radius where I live. And I went to one, two, I went to six. And out of the six, this is what I got. Plus I went to two TJ Maxx's. Okay. You girl be on the move. And I'm gonna be on the move bright and early in the morning because I got, I got places to go. For another like me, boy stop. Y'all, this is my mama. So let me get off so I can talk to my mama, okay? I'll holla, and I'll see y'all tomorrow at 8 
30 p.m. Spring has sprung. I hope y'all ready. Good night.